Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I have an unboxing and a first look for you guys. Uh, it's been a few months since I got any new gadgets recently. Um, and part of that reason is because I didn't feel the, re the need to upgrade any of my gadgets until, uh, until very recently. So I'm going to have a few more gadget reviews for you guys in the next few coming weeks. Um, but yeah, this is the Sony Xperia uh, XZ1 Compact. Uh, I have this phone here because I really like small phones. I actually used uh, Sony Xperia Z3 Compact for a very long time, uh, about three years, which is actually considered a very long time in the electronics world. And um, I liked it because it was water resistant. Uh, the battery life was really good. It had a pretty usable screen. It's, it's not that big. I don't like phones with really big screens. And that one was 4.6 inches, which I really liked. I thought that was a sweet spot. Now I have a Google Pixel, which is about five inches. I'm also getting the Pixel 2, by the way, um, but that's that's coming next month. Um, yeah, yeah, this one's five inches. This one is 4.6, so it's it's even a little bit smaller than that. But still, I think it's quite quite a usable size. I don't like phones that are way really too big for my hands and stuff. I think it's easier to use. And um, I've been skipping out on some of the other Xperia's that have been coming out recently. Uh, I think there was the Z5. I skipped that one because. It was very close to the Z3 Compact, and then there was the the XA, and then there was the uh, X Compact that came out, which I didn't like either because it wasn't water resistant. Now they finally came out with a model that is finally the right screen size with the right processor um, that is also water resistant. So that's part of the reason why uh, why I, got, I chose to get this one, the XC1. All right, so we're finally ready to look at the Xperia. XZ1 Compact, and um, I had this model shipped uh, from Taiwan actually. And the reason I didn't get the US model is because the US model has the fingerprint sensor disabled. Um, I'm not really sure exactly why, but um, Sony have always done this with their phones in the US. They've always gimped the fingerprint sensor. I have a feeling it's because of some patent violation or something in the US, but anyways, that's why I always order the Xperia phones internationally. And this phone is probably going to replace my Walkman, actually, because the Xperia phones basically have the same capabilities of the Walkman, except they're also a phone, so you can install apps and stuff. Obviously, they do a lot more. So it's probably going to replace my Walkman now. Okay, so here's what's inside the box. Um, something in Chinese, because this is a Taiwanese version. Something in Chinese, um, Xperia Lounge, yeah, blah, 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 some apps here. Okay, I got the blue version, which is actually kind of a teal, teal colored one. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'll give you guys the, the spec rundown of this. Okay guys, the spec rundown on the Sony Xperia XZ1 Compact is as 32 gigs of internal storage, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, which is quite a bit um, for a mid-range phone. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, which I believe is actually the same as the upscale um, XZ1. Uh, so the Compact does not lose any power at all. It has the same amount of power as the flagship. And it has micro SD, of course, um, 19 megapixel f2.0 camera, um, has all that good stuff, face detection, autofocus, uh, 8 megapixel secondary camera. So I guess this is a 19 megapixel back camera. And um, yeah, quite a big upgrade, an 8 megapixel front, uh, front camera, so that's a pretty big upgrade from my Z3 Compact. The camera on the back is actually downgraded megapixel from my Z3 Compact, but I'm sure they improved the the technology and the sensors inside it, so I'm sure it's actually a lot better. Because the the camera, the back camera of my Z2 Compact was 21 megapixels, but it was it was crappy. So uh, I guess megapixels don't mean everything, right? Um, but yeah, look at look how small this phone is, right? I love the size of this phone; it's great um, compared to the size of my Pixel here, which is also not a very big phone, actually. Compare, you can see that. Well, actually, I have a case on my Pixel, but. The XZ1 Compact, marginally smaller, uh, but it is smaller. Yeah. Well, the Pixel's not that big in the first place, I guess, compared to uh, the Pixel XL, the Samsung Galaxy Note, etc. Still fairly small phone, but the XZ1 is still a little bit smaller than that, although still not as small as my iPhone SE. iPhone SE is still probably the smallest. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's got the... Um, a flash on the back. I don't think is that a dual? Is that a tone sensor here? Uh, maybe they got that from the uh, iPhone as well. The dual tone sensor. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, but yeah, this is a dedicated camera button, which I really like. Volume buttons right here. Power button, which is also a fingerprint sensor on the side. That's a very good place to put the fingerprint sensor. Again, not sure why that's not available in the US. Micro SD card slot is right here. It actually comes right out. I like this a lot better than the Z3 Compact, which was like a little flap that could just come off at any time. This one, you actually just stick it in and then you know that you don't, it doesn't really come off that easily. USB-C port charge it very modern okay so um fingerprint sensor right okay there logged in and you get the typical sony interface by the way great thing about xperia phones you can have playstation uh remote play so i have a ps4 and stuff you can always use remote play and um i'm gonna download that later but um yeah you can also use it to play you remote remote stream your PS4 to it, which is awesome. And then you have Walkman app, which is now just known as the music app. But uh, Sony has their proprietary Walkman app. They also have the same technologies. If you go in here, you see go to sound and audio settings. And they have all these same features as Walkman phones. The DSE HX, you can upgrade the quality compressed music, clear audio, um, have um, equalizer settings and everything. So basically, this can base, this can replace my Walkman. Uh, since it has all the same features as my Walkman, um, as well as being a phone. Of course, the battery life is not going to be as good as my Walkman, and um, it's not going to be as compact. You can see here the size of the Walkman is still a lot smaller. Uh, but if I'm going to be using this phone for other things, then it might as well just be a, my main music player as well. Right? Both have my one micro SD card slot. The fact I don't have to use a proprietary charger, I use a USB C charger for this, which is great. Um, because USB-C is more universal, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, Sony Xperia XC1 Compact looks pretty good. Runs Android 8, the latest Oreo. Uh, let's see what else is in the box here. Okay, we get... Come on out. Okay, so this... A little manual here in Chinese. And you get the cable here, which is a USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C, as well as the plug right here. And what else do we get? A set of crappy earbuds. All right. Well, at least I think it's better than the iPhone ones because it's Sony, and Sony knows how to make good earphones. So I think it should be at least better than the Apple ones, but of course it's not going to be very good because it's a pack-in. It's a set of pack-in um, earbuds, but they included a few extra ear tips. How generous of them. Usually the pack-in earphones don't give you anything. That's it. Anyways, guys, um, it's unboxing and a little bit of a first look at my Sony devices, uh, as well as a few gadgets I got these days. And uh, Sony Xperia XC1 Compact, which is going to be my new portable media player in my secondary phone. And IP68 water resistant. Don't forget about that. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing guys, the battery life on this uh, is supposed to last two days just like the XZ3 Compact, which is one of the things that I love the most about it, uh, is the battery life is really, really good. And partly the reason is because the screen is not very high resolution, it's 1280 by 720 and I know you guys might be thinking, wow, that's an incredibly low, low ass resolution for a 2017 device. Um, but it's to help the battery life and, well, this is not really a flagship phone. So it's meant to be a secondary phone, mid-range phone. So yeah, I guess uh, as my secondary device, um, I don't really care about that that much. But if you're expecting like really high pixel density, then this is probably not the phone for you. If you want good battery life, then um, it's probably much better. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right guys, this is the comparison of the iPhone SE with the Sony Xperia XC1 Compact. You can see the size comparison right here. The iPhone SE is slightly smaller, a little bit smaller, but um, they're almost the same size. The XC1 Compact is probably uh, the best and most powerful small phone that you can get right now. It's uh, definitely more powerful than the iPhone SE. Um, this was the previous record holder, but now this one is more powerful uh, at that size. And um, there's a few things I like about the XC1 Compact. Let me show you a few, few things. One thing is this is water resistant and it has a headphone jack, something that the iPhone 7 apparently cannot do. And um, the battery life on it is really good. Um, right now it's 86% battery life. Uh, if, you go, if I go into Google and I pick this up 
from the charger at around 9 a.m. today. Right now it's 2 p.m. So it's been around five hours, um, still at 86%, which I think is really, really good because I've been using this uh, regularly for five hours now. And still says two days, 11 hours remaining. And you turn on stamina mode to, pre to uh, preserve it even more. And that's, that's just an awesome thing. Um, yeah, so yeah, 14% in five hours, I think is really, really good. That's a really good drain uh, rate. It's, it's actually quite good for, for a smartphone like this. Um, so yeah, two days remaining and 14% uh, drain in five hours, which I think is really, really good. Uh, another thing is the stereo speakers here, uh, quite impressive. Uh, let's play something here from YouTube. I'll show you guys what this is about. And let's compare it to the iPhone here. Okay, so let's play it from the same spot. You can see this is the iPhone SE speakers right here at full volume. This is at full volume for both phones. Okay, now let's look at the Xperia. And you can see how much louder this phone is than this one. Alright, so yeah, both phones are full volume, the Xperia is much louder, and um, yeah, the, the SE is not uh, water resistant either, and the battery life isn't nearly as good. So if you guys are looking for a good small phone, and you're not reliant on iOS, then uh, I highly recommend the XC1 Compact. That's it.